Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 26th, uh, 25th excuse me, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I uh, want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it was not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread as well. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And... Uh, also, as the Christmas is approaching, uh, <clears throat> there is a Christmas deals on the website concerning the 20 minutes and the 30 minute service, which is saving you uh, some money upon purchase. So, that being said, uh, going to the tarot spread first, the first card that we do have, this is to be the justice falling into the topic of your week. Then we do have the Knight of Cups, which is the core of the situation. The full card, uh, which is the uh, challenges that are causing predicaments. And the last one, that will be the Hermit, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. Let me stray them a little bit. So, uh, all in all, just on a uh, superficial look upon the cards, it does look like that we have a, a reconciliation uh, in this week in one form or another but let's dive deeper into the tarot card so what we do have the first card here that will be the justice which points that you are to very well differentiate the uh, chores from responsibilities and therefore you can expect that throughout this week there will be a serious reconstruction of your um, of your priorities and in generally of your plans as well especially if we're talking about a career week uh, you are likely to find that you are giving way too much attention to trifles and way too little to very important and substantial uh, undertakings that regard to your career the very least the uh, justice card represents the um, the reconstruction of the rules, how the game is played from now on, either career or relationship wise. And I said reconciliation because we do have the, the Knight of Cups falling into the core of the situation. And these couple of cards, especially relationship wise, it could rep, they, they can and they very strongly represent the, uh, the understanding of one person. Uh, how they kind of like bended the rules back in the past realizing that and now they're trying to make it up for it something like this but definitely the justice are to bring balance in your daily routines <clears throat> if you have been mistreated recently let's say from your co-workers or from friends or even from partners into one uh, intimate relationship that mistreatment that mistreatment is not going to take part into the following week as the justice is to serve justice to everybody either for good or either for bad however the knight of cups here points that uh, this is regarding a person, or right? a person that their happiness were everything they ever wanted. And what happens throughout this week is that they are to understand that their happiness is rather tied to your happiness. For example, if that is a about career, that could be a co-worker, which, are, which is to realize that causing you a, an issue, causing you setbacks, is actually working against themselves that way they are working against themselves and that's why they may approach you with the white banner you know with the banner of, of, of surrendering here and offering you peace offering you collaborations 
And a strong reconciliation is when we're talking about relationships, either friendship-wise, family-wise as well, you know, or an intimate one, where that person realizes that they're feeling miserable without you, they're feeling miserable when, uh, you know, they're pushing you away, where they, or when they kind of like... Uh, um, humiliate you as well one way or another because the humiliation is not just a public hum humiliation as well and uh, by that specific realization they may decide this time around to kind of like uh, fix themselves or rather fix what they have done in the past anyway uh, <clears throat> what is important here again is just don't accept that person lightly. I mean, you need to make a, a note. You need to make them aware. You need to make clear that this cannot repeat itself and a certain rules needs to be followed throughout the week and the coming weeks from now on. Um, now, that is very crucial how you are to establish this newly found relationship. Should you go for it, however, because we do have the four cards sitting into the predicaments, but we're going to go there in a minute. So it's very important how you are to establish the rules, how much you are going to allow to this person, you know, to take control over your life once again. Because you need to know that the drive for their personal emotional satisfaction is bigger than anything. And if you allow them way too much, they are to abuse that sense, that control that they do have over you or over your life once again even if now they are feeling sorry about it and they don't want to, to think even of that they are going to cross that line but they will once again if you give them too much freedom and uh, the full card here in the challenges which are causing predicaments points to that you are to find it very difficult to restart the whole thing uh, because this uh, poignant experience is to linger back in your mind and you are going to uh, find it very difficult to feel rela relaxed to place again a great hopes into that undertaking if you if you will as well to basically uh, be carefree once again when you are spending time around that guy or a woman for that matter uh, and in general to have this um, carefree and sincere expression as you always have one in your mind uh, one in your mind is this expression in our uh, in my country and literally means that you are to be always on your guard that the history does not repeat itself or that something bad is not going to happen and that itself is a contradicting uh, state of the fool because the fool has a, a strong belief for the future that the best is yet to come and you're gonna find it very difficult to have that same belief and uh, also <clears throat> as a predicament that card expresses up the um, the sufficiency that you are to have investing into new enterprises that concern with this uh, with this person knowing or kind of like imagining that uh, you know, as soon as you relax yourself, they will start repeating the 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 whole story, or the whole story is to start repeating itself back again, where they are basically taking advantage of your uh, predisposition to them and to uh, and to the state that you are having an experience in with them as well involved into the situation. And uh, the last card that we do have here is the Guidance, which is the Hermit. And here we do have what you need to do is to withdraw, basically, and seclude yourself from all that. Now, you will know that uh, throughout the week when that person approaches you, you will know that, you know, they want to, they, they want to make peace, you know. And uh, as well that um, the topic is about restructuring the rules of the game. But doing so, being emotional about it, knowing what they have done in the past, and uh, some of you cancers may want to make that person feel sorry, other are to be exhilarated about this return, and they virtually may be ready to give up anything so they can be with that person once again. You know, and this is a decision made from emotions. While the hermit, as a earth card, asks you to be more practical about it, not even logical, but 
more like secure about your decision and in order to do so you have to basically do it from a, a point of view where uh, your emotions are very well balanced or rather like very well examined and that's why this card advises you to withdraw seclude yourself if you have to you know uh, basically spend time on your own so you can make a thorough analyze uh, <clears throat> analysis excuse me of what you feel how you feel yet how you feeling it uh, do you even want to have that thing again and is this, is this something which is going to help you thrive in the long run? Because what we are talking about here in between these couple of cards is about going into a long run. And their contradictory is very big, all right? And uh, probably you will never be able to overcome uh, your defensive state or not in the near future at least you know you always be on your guard here and it will be very very difficult for you to relax yourself with the company of this person and with the commitment at all that you are going to take with them moving forward into the future but all lies into the rules that you are to establish so uh, basically when the or, when the climax comes and it, it will be a, a point where you have to take where you have to make a decision like make it or break it from now on then it is where you need to lay down your conditions and you should not back off them i mean you should not make any compromise of your conditions what your future cooperation or relationship with that person is to be in your mind and if they are agreed that's great if they don't that's even greater because then the fool unlocks itself completely and definitely a, a new beginning is coming in your way. So that being said, this was your uh, tarot reading cancers for uh, November 19th to November 25th. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to say for you. They are to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the scythe, and the scythe stands for uh, harvesting, it stands for cutting, it stands for as well uh, doing something with. It's, it's very, I recently stamped on this interpretation and it's very awkward but sometimes comes in handy. Uh, then the next one that is going to be the house. And the house stands for security, it stands for a, a personal domain, it stands for family as well. And the next one that we do have, this is going to be the lily, and the lily stands as well for um, simplicity, it stands for family as well, but the older, the elder family, like the bloodline family, while this could refer to as well, you know, a uh, immediate family that one has like a woman or, or like a wife or a husband or children, etc, etc, while this is your bloodline family, yeah, like father and mother, siblings, you know, brothers and etc, etc, it also could refer to sex. So what we do have here is a harvesting <clears throat> of a, a personal domain simplicity. It's, it's a very broad event, but I will try to give you a, a few examples here. Uh, that could be that you have recently had sex with someone you know and, that, and, that, and based on that very good experience you know they may want to kind of make a commitment with you which kind of fits with the uh, with the interpretation back uh, here in tarot you know you may had sex with them and they may deny you back in the time but now they're feeling despondent about it regretful if you may and they are approaching you with a new proposition here so you need to capitalize on it making your security a virtue here so you need to secure yourself through negotiating with this with this person about the rules of the game or it could be as well harvesting a, a family inheritance like a home you know or like an estate and etc etc basically it is a about harvesting upon your personal domain and upon the things that you can really really rely on that are connected with either sex or a, a family so that being said guys uh, cancers this was your uh, weekly tarot and lenormand reading for november uh, 
19 to November 25th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.